More than 70 years after the end of World War II, South Korea and Japan reached a landmark agreement on Monday to resolve their dispute over Korean women who were forced to serve as sex slaves for Japan's Imperial Army. The issue has long strained relations between the two nations. Now, with Japan apologizing and promising to create 1 billion yen fund, it is hoped that things will look up. Japanese and South Korean foreign ministers announcing the agreement in Seoul said each side considered it a final and irrevocable resolution of the issue. Accepting deep responsibility for the issue, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe spoke to South Korean President Park yun yi by telephone. He apologized on behalf of Japan. From today, Japan and South Korea will enter a new era. I hope this agreement will serve as a momentum for Japan and South Korea to put their hands together and open up the new era. In order to restore the dignity and regain the impaired reputation of the comfort women, as well as heal their wounded hearts through the agreement, I think it is important that the Japanese government swiftly and faithfully carry out the measures under the deal. Under the agreement, Japan will give 1 billion yen to fund for the elderly comfort women, which the South Korean government will administer. Tens of thousands of women, some say as many as 200,000 from around Asia, were sent to military brothels to serve Japanese soldiers. Many were Korean. Others were from mainland China, the Philippines, Indonesia and Taiwan. The dozens of surviving women have asked for a formal apology specifically addressed to themselves and direct compensation. They say past expressions of regret have been only halfway and insecure. Bureau Report, DD News.